What's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is the Prince of YouTube PS Compulsion signing in here, aka that 23 year old kid with the light squeaky voice, aka Prince Anthony, aka the president of basketball operations for the New York Knicks. And we've been winning and grinning as the playoffs draw nearer. We are less than 15 games away from the start of the NBA playoffs. And guess what, bruh? We broke a Nick record for most wins in an NBA season with 63 wins. The most wins that the New York Knicks ever had in a season was 60. We already passed that with less than 15 games remaining here this season. We are at 63 and 9. For this NBA season thus far, we're the only team in the East to clinch a spot in the NBA playoffs. Oh my goodness, we are on a roll, bruh. And it's primarily because the second half of the season, we did face a lot of teams under 500. But hey, that don't really matter. <laughs> Looking at the award races, Freddie Staples looks like he's not going to win the MVP or Rookie of the Year. But Jackson Baldwin is injured, so hey, you never know, right? But anyways, we are getting ready to face off against the Philadelphia 76ers. And you guys do remember what happened when we faced them earlier on in the season, right? Oh, no, wait. They're going to Ben Simmons. Two seconds remaining. Ben Simmons turns face and knocks down the game tie. And Simmons again on this possession. And yep, I'm right. They get it to Ben Simmons. Five seconds remaining here. It's overtime. That should have been my steal. But Ben Simmons puts it up. Oh, wait, he misses. But they get to tip in. The game winner because I am not going to a second overtime. Who am I going to? Freddie Staples. Oh, wait. He's wide open. I get it in. Freddie Staples for the win. He knocks it down at the buzzer. <laughs> I thought for a quick second that that shot did not count, but look at that. That shot was beautiful. Freddie Staples right off the inbound. When we played them earlier on in the season, that was a lit game. If you guys missed that video, you guys got to go check it out. But here in the second half of the season, I didn't show you guys this game, but we did blow them out on our home court. And now we're getting ready to head back to Philadelphia to face them again for another matchup. Can we sweep the season series? This is going to be our last time facing them in the regular season. We might see them in the postseason. Who knows? But anyways, Markel Folks versus Freddie Staples. That's the matchup to look out for. Philly, New York. Let's go next. We got this, baby. I mean, we're more than likely going to meet the Sixers in the second round. Who knows? Here's Lawawu getting the three-point shot to go. Lawawu face off against Freddie Staples in the dunk contest. Oh, yeah, Ben Simmons was in the dunk contest also. But anyways, early five-point lead for the Sixers. Make that a two-point lead. Porzingis for trying to drive with Freddie Staples. They are pushing the crap out of me, bruh. Come on, TJ. Stop following. Bringing in most of my second unit. I'm going to leave Devin Booker out there with Porzingis. Because right now the Sixers are playing very well. They got a four-point lead. Let's see what we got. Oh, who's this? Should I pop the three-pointer? I'm going to go ahead and pop the three-point shot. Porzingis been feeling it. And he's not Shot clock winding down. McConnell better do something. Trying to drive on Patrick Beverly. Two seconds remaining. Get that weak stuff out of here. Nice, beautiful block. Come on, let's push that tempo. Getting the ball back to Patrick Beverly. Matter of fact, I'm going to take my time and run that beautiful pick and roll with Kyle Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma is open. Alley oop to Kuzma. Look at that beautiful alley oop. Perfect pick and roll. Simmons been quiet this game. Let me see what he got. Puts up a bad shot. Can't get it to go. We got all the momentum right now. Let's keep it going. Here's Patrick Beverly taking the first available shot. Oh, the paint is wide open. Driving to the basket. And one. Let's go. About to open up an eight-point lead. And we do. <laughs> Uh-oh, they're going back to Markel Fultz. Let's see what Fultz got. Driving, stopping, stepping back. Come on, he's not making that. The Sixers are taking some horrible shots right now. Eight-point lead. Time to add to that lead, bro. Moving the basketball, getting it down low to Kyle Kuzma. I'm going to go ahead and drive. Look at that. Getting right past the No, don't let folks hit that three. I left them wide open, and he bails us out by missing. Come on, we have to score on this possession. The Sixers are on a run right now. They're only down by one. We were up by double digits. We got to get this double-digit lead back. Kuzma driving right past the defender. Taking it all the way to Uh-oh, Okafor in the paint. Oka for in the that post. In okay, I see you, bro. One point lead for us. The Sixers are playing very well to end this quarter. But come on, let's see what we got in this possession. We got to push this lead back up, bro. I had a double-digit lead. Here's Freddie Staples. Oh, oh, what are you doing? 
He caught TJ McConnell. Freddie Staples catching TJ McConnell with the ankle breaker. Where are you going, bro? I didn't even realize that he caught the ankle breaker till I heard the crowd. Oh my goodness. TJ McConnell, you got caught. Those ankles got caught. And Freddie Staples finished the play, knocking down the third. It's Markel Fultz. Oh, nice spin move, taking it all the way to the basket. That was a good move. I can't even lie. That was a good move by Markel. But anything you could do, I could do better. Here's, oh man, forget it. I wanted to launch a three-pointer so bad with Freddie Staples. But I'm going to go ahead and drive. Oh, look at that. Getting the ball inside to Porzingis. And he lays it up and in. Good five winding down. Ben Simmons not doing nothing. He is not doing nothing. Turning and fading. Another bad possession for the Philadelphia 76ers. Let's build on this lead. Who's this wide open? Booker for three. Again. <laughs> they get the ball to Joel Embiid. He turns turns around and chucks up a horrible shot. What are you doing? What the hell is that? <laughs> oh my goodness, that was a horrible shot. Let's see what I got in this possession though. Who's this wide open? You can't leave Booker open. They keep leaving him open and he keeps knocking down threes. Oh, McConnell, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing? But Okafor gets the rebound. <laughs> oh my God. Okafor traveling. The Sixers are not doing nothing right now, bro. Come on. We got to push this lead up. Here's Freddie Staples about to run that beautiful pick and roll. Porzingis taking it all the way to the basket. Look at that shot. Where's the foul? That was a foul. I'm about to bring in my reserves. This game is over. Probably bring in Chase and Randall and McAdoo. TJ McConnell for three. Can't get it to go. Let's see what we got in this possession. Can we keep building on the lead? I get the ball to Kuzma. Kuzma driving. Lays it up and in. I'm going to go ahead and bring in Dotson. I should be giving Dotson a lot more minutes. Hopefully, I could get him up to like a 77 or 78 overall by the end of the season. Who knows? But I have been giving him playing time. But running that pick and roll with Kuzma. I'm going to launch a three-pointer. And I get a perfect release with Dotson. I think I'm about to foul. Go ahead. J.R. Smith fouling Ben Simmons. I'm going to have to bring in my starting unit because right now the Sixers are not missing it. Only down by nine points, cutting the lead to single digits. Look at that ball movement by the Sixers. They're going right back to Joel Embiid. Shot clock winding down. They better do something quick. Here's Lawawu. Get that. We oh, wait. That should have been a block. But he still misses. Here comes Freddie Staples driving. Taking it all the way to the basket. Found it. Let's go. They got to show me a replay for that. Look at that. Throwing up the floater. Fouled. And he bangs it in. And one. Oh, my goodness. Freddie Staples just too beautiful. Good. Oh, wait. I missed the free throw. It don't matter. Six is not going for a three-point on this possession. Ben Simmons in the paint, turning, fading, gets it to go. They are taking some questionable shots, to say the least, but are they going to foul? It looks like they're not. If they don't foul, that means that we are going to win our 64th game for this NBA season, increasing that Nick record for most Ws in a season. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, they're not going to foul. So this game is pretty much over. The fans have left. I got to get up one more shot. Oh, wait, I'm getting it inside the Porzingis, and I turned the ball over. I should have saw that coming. Doesn't really matter, though, because we win our 64th game for the NBA season, and we are six games away from winning 70, bruh. Six more games. If we was to meet the Philadelphia 76ers in the playoffs, we are most definitely going to sweep them. We swept the season series. 3-0. and oh. But anyways, looking at the box score for the Sixers, Lawawu had 19 points, Joel Embiid had the double-double with 14 points and 12 rebounds, and Markel Fultz had 14 points. Then when I normalized play to simulation stats, Joel Embiid had 23 points and 21 rebounds. Ben Simmons had the double-double, 7 rebounds, 15 assists, 13 points. Lawawu had 31 points, Fultz had 23 Good game for the Sixers, but they just did not have what it takes and do not have what it takes to beat our New York Knicks. And speaking of our squad, looking at the box score for our squad, Porzingis had 16 points and 9 rebounds. Devin Booker had 15. Freddie Staples had 12 points and a mean ankle breaker on TJ McConnell. Kuzma had 11 off the bench. Patrick Beverly had 7 off the bench, and the rest of the team did their thing. When I normalized play to simulation stats, Porzingis had 26 and 15. 
18. Freddie Staples had 18 points, 14 assists. Kuzma had 20. Devin Booker had 24. This is probably the reason why Freddie Staples is not going to win like the rookie of the year because he is way too unselfish. 14 assists this game and the rest of the team, we just have too much scoring options for one player to just show out like that. We got the big three of Porzingis, Devin Booker, and Freddie Staples. As long as all three of these people or players, I should say, are on this roster, there is no way, no way that we're not going to win an NBA championship. But anyways, let's keep on pushing towards the NBA playoffs. Maybe we could get a 70 win season, but I'm planning on simulating at least more than half the games. I'll probably play one more game before the end of the season. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys want me to do. Otherwise, I'm going to just do what I want. But anyways, let's keep on winning and grinning. Let's keep on pushing towards the NBA playoffs. Let's go next.